the face who runs the place. I am the best thing going today. Rest in peace. The future is standing in front of you. We are coming to you live tonight from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn for the biggest event of the summer. Welcome everybody to a sold out SummerSlam. And we are kicking things off tonight with a battle royal to determine the Cruiserweight Champion in the new era. The following contest is a six man over the top rope battle royal for the Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing first from Los Angeles, California, TJP. TJP, otherwise known as TJ Perkins, is making his way out to the ring first for this battle royal. Six Cruiserweights that will be signed after the night is over, will compete here tonight to become the first Cruiserweight Champion in the new era of WWE. What a way to kick things off here this evening at SummerSlam. Here comes participant number two in this battle royal. Introducing next, from Kobe, Japan, Akira Tozawa. Akira Tozawa from Japan. A massive star over there. Now he looks to take his very impressive striking ability to the WWE. And it all starts here tonight at SummerSlam for Akira Tozawa. We now await participant number three in this battle royal. And oh, he comes from Manchester, England, Jack Gallagher. Introducing next from Manchester, England, Jack Gallagher. A very interesting character is Jack Gallagher. One of the most unique individuals that I've ever seen in the wrestling business. I mean, look at those trunks. Have you ever seen anything like that before? I mean, that right there should tell you what kind of man this guy is. Very unique, especially unique in his in-ring style. He definitely has something, and I think he's gonna fit right in to the WWE. Remember, guys? All of these cruiserweights that you see here tonight, among others who will not be competing here tonight, but are indeed backstage, after the night is over, they will all be signed to a WWE contract to compete either on Raw or SmackDown Live. Introducing next, 
from Charlotte, North Carolina, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander, a very talented young man. He has a lot of promise here in the Cruiserweight division on Raw and SmackDown Live. I can say that for sure. The Cruiserweight Champion, whoever that ends up being before the night is over, will be able to compete on both brands. They will not be limited to compete on Raw or SmackDown Live. They will be able to show up on whichever brand they need to. I am looking forward to this Cruiserweight division. What an idea by uh, Raw General Manager Kevin Nash and of course SmackDown Live General Manager Shane McMahon. Here comes the next participant from Mexico. The King of the Ropes, Gran Matalik. Introducing next from Guadalajara, Mexico, Gran Matalik. Gran Matalik is absolutely incredible in the ring. One of the best luchadors from Mexico that I've ever seen. You are going to be very impressed with what this man can do in that squared circle. Either one of these men have the tools to become the Cruiserweight Champion here this evening at the biggest event of the summer, SummerSlam. We now await the final participant in this matchup. Who is it going to be? He comes from Scotland. He is the Scottish Supernova, Noam Dar. And introducing from Air Scotland, Noam Dar. Noam Dar, another man with a bright future here in WWE. From Air Scotland. The Scottish Supernova now makes his way down to the ring. All six of these cruiserweights are looking to make an impression here in this Battle Royal. Again, the rules of this Battle Royal. You are thrown over the top rope, but both feet must hit the floor for you to be eliminated from the matchup. The last man standing will, of course, win and become the first Cruiserweight Champion in the new era. Well, this is certainly going to be a hot start to the SummerSlam pay-per-view as this Battle Royal is about to be underway. And there's the bell, and Noam Dar coming right after Cedric Alexander as soon as the bell rings. And look at Cedric in trouble early on in this Battle Royal. Noam Dar eliminating Cedric. Wow, that was quick. Clearly tonight was not the night for Cedric Alexander. TJP now with the right hand to Dor, and there's a back suplex to follow. As now Matalik able to reverse Jack Gallagher and deliver that drop kick. And now Tazawa coming off to Matalik. Springboard, nobody home. Gallagher was able to get out of the way. And now Matalik coming off to Akira Tazawa. Tazawa went for the kick, but catches that big clothesline. TJP off the Hurricane Rana now to Jack Gallagher. Gallagher brought back up to his feet. TJP hooking the arms. There's a butterfly suplex. Big clothesline there to the back of Grand Matalik by Noam Dar. And now Noam Dar with a power bomb to Gallagher. Every man for themselves in this battle royal. As now Noam Dar going after the legs of Jack Gallagher. And now Akira Tozawa grabs a hold of Dar, looks for the suplex. But Noam Dar is able to land on his feet. Big shot to the back there. But Tozawa fighting through the pain. Tozawa is one tough cookie. Oh, as face first goes Noam Dar there. European uppercut by Gallagher, as there's a big sent on by Tozawa. And now Matalik 
Trying to get Gallagher up against the ropes and he does. Now Gallagher may be eliminated here. Is Gallagher the second man to leave this match? No. He hangs on. Snap suplex now by Tazawa. As Gallagher still in trouble. But he manages to hang on once again. And now Noam Dar coming off to Matalik. Matalik, oh, missing that clothesline. And oh, there's a drop kick right to the knee by Noam Dar. And now Dar with the armbar locked in. Onto Grand Matalik, the king of the ropes. As now TJP and Jack Gallagher going at it. Gallagher now. Nice suplex there to TJP. As oh, there goes Grand Matalik. Knocked off the apron there by. I couldn't see who exactly it was. Too much action going on. That's the problem with Battle Royals. As now TJP. Oh my goodness. Chicken wing gut buster. There to Noam Dar. And Noam Dar catching that Inzaguri as well. As now Gallagher with a forearm to Tazawa. Not too sure you want to get into a striking battle with the Japanese superstar that is Akira Tazawa. As now TJP dropping the dab on Gallagher. TJP calls himself the Duke of Dab. As now vertical suplex by Perkins. But he still has a hold of Gallagher. Turns it into a back suplex as well. As now Tazawa almost eliminated. But he's trying to hang in there. Noam Dar though relentless. Trying to eliminate Tazawa. Tazawa fighting out of that predicament. As now TJP is up to the second rope. Waiting for well, somebody to target. Nobody seems to enthrall to go after TJP though. Probably a wise decision. And TJP realises that he's not going to have any luck up there. As now Jack Gallagher trying to get TJP into the corner. But TJP is able to fight out of the grasp. Oh, and there's a big neck breaker by Noam Dar. That came out of nowhere. And now Noam Dar with some strikes. Big European uppercut once again. TJP is dazed as he gets that kick into the midsection. Dar plants him with a DDT. And now once again, Jack Gallagher is in trouble. This could be another elimination. No. Gallagher able to stay in this matchup. As there's another back suplex by Perkins. Noam Dar though right back up to his feet. Another kick to the gut. And another DDT to follow. Who will become the first Cruiserweight Champion of the New Era? That is what this matchup will determine. As now Gallagher with a massive headbutt there to TJ Perkins. TJP may be rattled after that one. As now here comes Gallagher. But TJP with some fight left in him. Gallagher with a European uppercut. TJP with a big kick and a forearm. And now try to eliminate Jack. But Gallagher remaining in the matchup once again. And now Jack Gallagher. Big drop kick to TJP. Arm drag by Noam Dar to Tazawa. And now Gallagher's going to come after Akira Tazawa. Tazawa though with an elbow. Gallagher with a European uppercut once again. And now Tazawa's in a precarious situation. Gallagher looking to eliminate Tazawa, but Tazawa hangs on. Gallagher though still trying to get Tazawa out of this matchup, and he does. Akira Tazawa is eliminated. And now Jack Gallagher, German suplex. TJP lands on his feet. Wow, that was impressive. And now TJP looking for a suplex on door, but Noam once again lands on his feet. Four on to the back. And now Gallagher, dragon suplex to TJP as well. And now, oh, Gallagher's gone. Noam Dar launching Gallagher out of the ring over the top rope. And that is indeed an elimination. And now we are down to two men. TJP and Noam Dar. Who will become Cruiserweight Champion here tonight. It will indeed be one of these men. As now Dar up to the second rope. Measuring TJP. And Noam Dar with a massive drop kick. Perkins is down. 
And now Noam Dahl with a stomp to the midsection. And there's another stomp to the arm. And now Dahl is backing up into the corner. What does Noam Dahl have in store for TJP? He's stalking him. Oh, what an enziguri. Right to the side of the head. All Dahl needs to do is get Perkins over the top rope to be eliminated. But TJP's not going to make it that easy. Big European uppercut by Perkins. And now Perkins is back in control. Big right hand. And oh no, not again. Another chicken wing gut buster. Right to the god of no and door there. And now this could be TJP's moment. TJP setting up. No Amdor against the ropes. And now trying to get him over the top rope. This could be the final elimination. Dawes trying to hang on. Can TJP get the feet of No Amdor to hit the floor? TJP to become the cruiserweight champion right here. But No Amdor is back in the ring. Dor is able to survive that elimination attempt. And oh, there's a back suplex. Now to Perkins. No Amdor back in control. Oh, European uppercut now by the Scottish Supernova. And now TJP's being set up. Another power bomb in this battle royal. And now Perkins picked back up to his feet. Dor missing that clothesline. And now Perkins. Wait a minute, he's going to return the favor. There's a power bomb of his own. And now Noam Dor in trouble. TJP sends him over the top. And TJP is Cruiserweight Champion. What a turn of events. TJ Perkins has done it. And there's the championship being awarded to TJP at SummerSlam. Congratulations. Well, after that hot start to the SummerSlam pay-per-view, we now move on to the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. And here come the Ascension. The following contest is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, the challengers, the team of Connor and Victor, the Ascension. Well, as the Ascension make their way down to the ring, I want to reiterate what they said this past Tuesday on SmackDown Live. The Ascension firmly hold the belief that the reason why they lost to the New Day at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view was because of Xavier Woods and his trombone. And I can completely understand where the Ascension are coming from. I mean, that trombone can be incredibly annoying and distracting. So the Ascension demanded a rematch here tonight at SummerSlam, and the New Day accepted. And now here come the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions. They are the New Day. Introducing their opponents. They are the current SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Big E and Kofi Kingston. The New Day. And well, you will notice right away that Xavier Woods is nowhere to be seen here this evening as the New Day make their entrance. Clearly the New Day are keeping their word as it were. Xavier Woods will not be at ringside here tonight for this championship matchup. The New Day made the promise that in this rematch here this evening, Xavier Woods will not be present because of the Ascension's belief that it was Xavier that caused the Ascension to lose at Money in the Bank. The New Day have an asterisk next to their names and they want to remove it here tonight at SummerSlam. So the SmackDown Tag Team titles are on the line in our second matchup 
of the evening, Connor is going to start things off with Kofi Kingston. And as soon as the bell rings, Connor tried to come after Kofi, but Kofi putting a stop to that aggressive start with a double foot stomp to the chest. Connor now with a reversal, sends Kofi off the ropes, but there's a collision. And now Connor to take advantage of it with a power bomb, perhaps. Kofi's able to fight out. Oh, and there's a big drop kick by Kingston. And the WWE fans firmly behind Kofi Kingston as the matchup begins. Brooklyn firmly behind the SmackDown Tag Team Champions tonight. As now Connor launches Kingston across the ring with ease. Right into the turnbuckle. And now Connor's looking to turn this matchup around as he makes a tag to the technician of the ascension, Victor. And here's Victor with some stomps on Kofi. And now Victor following up those stomps with a big forearm to the skull. And now look at this. He's going to slow the matchup down by cranking away at the neck of Kofi Kingston. Not a bad move by the technician of the ascension. And now up to the second rope goes Victor. He wants Kofi back up to his feet. And he will get that. Here's Victor now with a double axe handle to the skull. And another stomp to the back. And now look at this. Victor is choking Kofi. And there is no need for that. As now here's Victor. Missed the double axe handle that time. But he caught Kofi with a jab. Oh, and there's a Northern Lights suplex to follow. Victor remaining in control of this matchup despite missing that second double axe handle. Big kick now there to Kofi. Went for another, but Kofi caught the leg and there's a dragon screw leg whip. Kofi trying to get back into the matchup now, but once again, Victor may be too quick. Kofi though lands on his feet and there's a big kick. That massive spin kick there to Victor. And now here's Kofi off the ropes, setting up the boom drop. Nailed it. Kingston, the cover to retain the titles. No, only a two count. And now Kofi with another drop kick, this time to the back of Victor. Kofi now with a big shot and a chop across the chest as well. And now a fireman's carry takeover to Victor. New Day rocks chance from the WWE fans as now Victor reverses Kofi and sends him into the corner. And now Kofi Kingston being set up. Victor up on the second right once again. But this time Kofi caught Victor dead in his tracks. And now there's a knee into the corner. Kofi Kingston. May have full control now in this matchup due to that mistake by Victor. And now look at Kofi unloading on Victor in the corner. Big right hands. And there's a European uppercut. Victor may be dazed right now as he gets sent across the ring. Corner to corner. Turnbuckle to turnbuckle. Monkey flip now by Kofi. Off the top right with a crossbody. Lateral press. Shoulders are down on Victor. Oh, but a kick out at two once again. Close call there for Kingston. Almost able to retain the titles. But now here's Victor with the right hand. Setting up Kofi for a Saido suplex. And now once again, Victor. He's going to slow this matchup down. Once again, cranking away at the neck of Kingston. Trying to keep this match up nice and slow. Kofi now picked back up to his feet by Victor. And Victor with a backbreaker. Knee driven right into the spine of Kingston. And now once again Victor has grounded Kofi Kingston. Cranking away at his neck once again. And Kofi Kingston has been in this match up. Since the bell rang. He really needs to make a tag to his partner. And now he has the chance to. Is Kofi going to take it? Kofi Kingston may be looking for a tag right now. And he definitely needs it. He has been in this matchup since the bell rang. But now in comes Big E. As Victor goes head first into Big E's boot. Big E entering this tag team matchup. 
for the first time now. And Victor may be in trouble as here comes the powerhouse of the New Day with a shoulder tackle in the corner. Follows it up with an overhead belly to belly suplex. But Victor's able to make a tag as well. And now in comes the other powerhouse in this match. Connor though got caught belly to belly now to Connor. Is it enough to retain the titles? Not only a one count. Remember, Connor is relatively fresh in this matchup. Victor was in there for a long time, as was Kofi. And now Big E trying to back Connor up into the corner, and he does. But Connor explodes out with a massive shoulder tackle. And now Connor is back in control as the SmackDown Tag Team titles are on the line. Oh, there's a flapjack. Face first into the mat goes Big E. And now Connor letting out the roar. Maybe looking for the end of this matchup now. Looking to win the Tag Team Championships. Big E's up. No, he's not. He's able to escape. And now there's another belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Is it going to be enough this time? Hooking the leg. Victor breaks it up. And now Kofi Kingston, Michinoku driver to Victor. Victor has been taken out of the equation momentarily as now Big E is going to send Connor into the corner. Kofi's going to go after Victor on the outside. Meanwhile, Connor is able to reverse Big E. And now Big E out of the corner, pulled back into a sidewalk slam. And Connor is once again back in control. Submission maneuver locked in. That knee into the spine. Is Big E going to tap out? New champions, no. Big E's able to escape. Went for a clothesline but missed. And now it's Connor lifting up Big E high into the air. All the blood rushing to the head of the powerhouse of the New Day. Connor with a stalling suplex. How about that for power? And now Connor going to send Big E to the outside of the ring. Remember, the Ascension cannot win the tag team titles by disqualification or count out. They have to win by pinfall or submission. And Victor, realizing that, is going to head to the outside of the ring. As now Big E and Victor going at it. Victor with a kick to the gut. Oh, and now back first goes Big E into the apron of the ring. That will do some damage, but Victor needs to get Big E back inside the ring to win the championships. The referee continuing to count out these men. Victor now with the Luthers press. And Victor unloading on Big E. Victor now getting Big E back up to his feet again. Big E sends Victor back inside the ring. And Big E follows. And now both men back inside the ring. Victor is up against the ropes. Big E sends him over. Now Victor's on the apron. And Big E with a spear. My goodness. Big E with a spear through the middle rope. That sends Victor to the outside. That will do some damage. But Victor gets Big E back inside the ring first. Can Victor capitalize here? Big E rolls back up to his feet. Oh, what a clothesline. Clothesline and a half there by Victor. And now Big E sent into the corner of the ascension. Big right hand. And now what has Victor got in mind? Setting up Big E on the top rope. Oh my goodness, an arm drag. An arm drag off the top right by Victor. Victor though, not done yet. There's the STO. We could have new SmackDown Tag Team Champions right here. Shoulders down, but only a two count. The matchup continues as Victor misses that kick. Big E now with a forearm. And a right hand to the back. Setting up another belly to belly suplex. That could be it to retain the titles. Connor breaks up the cover. And now look at Kofi from behind on Connor. Hurricane Rana. And that'll take care of Connor momentarily. 
Victor picked back up to his feet now and sent into the corner of the new day. Kofi getting him to position. Victor has been set up for the unicorn stampede. Kofi tagging himself in and the unicorn stampede is a go. The end may be nigh for the ascension as the unicorn stampede continues. And now here comes the finishing blow potentially. Big drop kick into the corner with the assist from Big E. Kofi now hooking the outside leg to retain the titles. No Victor kicked out at two. Victor is still alive in this match. And now Victor with a fireman's carry takeover. Kofi sent into the corner of the Ascension. Tag made. Back to Connor. And now the Ascension looking for the end themselves. Looking for the downcast. The downcast of Kofi. Do we have new SmackDown Tag Team Champions? Big E couldn't make it. And we do indeed have new Tag Team Champions. Take a look at this again. Big E tried to break up the cover, but he couldn't do it. He ran out of time. Watch here as the Ascension deliver the downcast to Kofi Kingston. Big E enters the ring, but it was far too late. One count to spare, and the Ascension are the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Congratulations to Connor and Victor. They have ended the very successful reign of the New Day as the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Welcome back everybody to the SummerSlam pay-per-view as it is now time for our first women's matchup of the night. The following contest is a triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. Introducing first from Scottsdale, Arizona, Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella making her way out to the ring as she prepares for this triple threat matchup here tonight. And Nikki Bella was able to get herself into the championship picture on the red brand by defeating the number one contender Ruby Riot this past Monday night on Raw. Thus Nikki Bella is now involved in this matchup at SummerSlam. And here comes Ruby Riot. Introducing next from Lafayette, Indiana, Ruby Riot. Ruby Riot making her way up to the ring now. And as you can see, Paige is not accompanying her to the ring tonight. Paige, of course, Ruby's mentor. Ruby Riot, Paige's protege. Ruby Riot set a go this one alone. Here at the biggest event of the summer. Ruby Riot was able to get herself this championship opportunity by defeating the Raw Women's Champion, Sasha Banks, two weeks ago via pinfall on the red brand. And of course, there is only one more woman yet to make her entrance. And here she comes. The current Raw Women's Champion, the legit boss, Sasha Banks. And from Boston, Massachusetts, she is the current Raw Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has held that championship since WrestleMania when she won it. And she comes into this triple threat matchup tonight with the odds stacked against her. She does not have to be pinned or made to submit in this match to lose her title. The winner of this triple threat match will be the first woman to gain a pinfall or submission in the ring. No disqualifications or countouts will be in effect during this matchup as well. So the Raw Women's title 
is on the line in our first women's matchup of the evening. And we will have the SmackDown women's title match a little later on here tonight. But right now, the Raw women's title is at stake. And there it is. Held up by the official as the matchup is about to be underway. Sasha Banks defending her championship against Nikki Bella and Ruby Riot, And here we go as Nikki Bella takes out both women with a big knee. And now Nikki Bella's going to go right off to Sasha Banks. Who has caused Nikki's sister Brie Bella so much pain as of late. And here's Nikki Bella going off to the champion as the matchup begins. Nikki now off the second rope with a kick to the skull. But there's Ruby Riot from behind. And you need to have your head on a swivel in this type of match. You never know who's creeping up behind you. And you just saw it right there as now Ruby Riot with a senton off the second rope. And now Ruby Riot in full control. But as I say that, Nikki able to land on her feet and there's a Russian leg sweep. Sasha missing wildly there with a drop kick, but delivers a neck breaker. Sasha Banks now going up to the second rope. Oh, went for a splash, but missed out. And now Nikki's back in control. Snap there, takedown, and there's a big kick to the spine. And now look at Nikki Bella just unloading. Bent up frustration. And now here's Ruby Riot with a kick to the midsection. Off the ropes now. Oh, and there's the Spike Rana. Head first into the mat goes Nikki Bella. And now Ruby Riot, the only woman standing. As she delivers that big kick to the back of Nikki. And Nikki's going to roll out of the ring to regroup. Sasha now off the jaw breaker. And follows it up with a swinging neck breaker. The second one now in this match. Now the first cover and a kick out at one. Sasha Banks needs to do whatever it takes here tonight to retain her championship against the odds. No disqualifications. All countouts will be in effect as now here comes Nikki back into the fray, but only momentarily as she gets sent packing again thanks to that drop kick. Sasha now outside the ring, but well, decides against that rather quickly. Hurricane Ron and out to Ruby Riot. Oh, and Nikki Bella with a spear to the champion. Sasha Banks taken out by that spear. And, oh, there's the forearm. And that could be it. Do we have a new champion? No, Riot. Able to break up that cover at one. And now Nikki's going to go after Ruby Riot. And this is very interesting because. I don't think there are any issues between Nikki Bella and Ruby Riot. In fact, they actually formed some sort of alliance a few weeks ago on Raw. So I think this is just in the spirit of competition tonight as Ruby Riot there with a kick to the midsection. And now Ruby Riot looking to follow it up, setting Nikki up against the ropes now. And now Nikki Bella, oh, gets planted thanks to that back suplex. Inzaguri to Sasha Banks. The champion is down. Do we have a new champion in Ruby Riot? No, kick out at two. That was a close call there. Sasha almost losing her championship. As now, off the kick. Oh, Shining Wizard. The knee right to the temple. And now Sasha to retain her title. Nikki Bella is in though to break up the cover. And now here's Nikki once again going off to Sasha Banks. Close line sending her out of the ring. And now once again it comes down to Nikki and Ruby Riot. And Nikki here with a roll up shoulders down. Nikki Bella to win the title. No, only a one count once again. Oh, but look at this. Nikki Bella now. Unique submission maneuver. Look at this. Submission maneuver locked in. Is Ruby Riot going to submit? If she does, we'll have a new champion in Nikki Bella. But Ruby's able to fight out. What a unique submission maneuver that was. As now, wait a minute. Riot kick. The riot kick is delivered. But Sasha's back in the ring. And Ruby Riot forced to go after the champion. Plants her down to the mat. Here's the cover now. Wrong person though, Ruby. You should have pinned Nikki. Nikki Bella may still be out of it. 
but Ruby Wyatt distracted by Sasha Banks. And this is the danger of a triple threat match. Sasha now rolling to the outside of the ring. And here's Riot with a cover on Nikki, who just got hit with the Riot kick. New champion, no! Way too much time had been wasted there. If Ruby would have gone right into the cover, we may have been looking at a new champion right now. Oh, another spear now from Nikki Bella. And Ruby Riot is in a bad way right now. Riot using the turnbuckle. To get back up to her feet, there's a big clothesline to the back of the head. And now Sasha Banks back in the fray of things. Nikki Bella with a knee to the skull and now looking for a suplex and she gets it. Both women down, the only woman standing is Nikki Bella as there's a big stomp to the face. And now Sasha Banks picked back up to her feet, reversal. Sending Nikki into the corner. And now wait a minute. That is not where Nikki wants to be. Double knees to the midsection. Sasha Banks. Oh, wait a minute. Ruby Riot. No. Sasha with the reverse DDT. Great counter. And remember, Nikki Bella just got taken out by the double knees. Here's the cover to retain the title. No. Another two count. This is getting very close. Any one of these women could walk out with the title here this evening at SummerSlam. Sasha now into another cover after cranking away at the neck of Nikki and another two count. And now wait a minute though, Sasha Banks looking for the bank statement here. But Nikki's able to counter. Shot to the back. But here comes Ruby Riot out of nowhere with a back suplex. Sasha Banks rolling to the outside once again. And now this may be the moment for Ruby Riot or Nikki Bella. And Nikki Bella is going to send Riot outside the ring as well. What is Nikki Bella thinking? I thought that would have been a great opportunity for Nikki Bella to capitalize and potentially win the title. But instead, she was looking for a suicide dive. And it may cost her. Here's the cover that Sasha. Back in the ring to break it up. And now Riot going after the champion Wheelbarrow Stunner. Nikki Bella still down. And she could be out thanks to that right hand. Oh, big suplex now to Sasha Banks. Sasha landed right on her neck there. And now she gets sent into the corner by Riot. And here's Ruby Riot. No, Sasha Banks is able to reverse. Riot may have been thinking about those triple super kicks. But instead, Sasha Banks shoots the half into the cover. Shoulders down, but Nikki Bella's still in this match. The right hand as Nikki Bella went for a suicide dive was not enough to put her away. Oh, again, Sasha misses that splash. And now Nikki Bella with a spine buster. Shoulders it out once again. But here comes Riot. Sasha's able to kick out on her own accord. Riot turning away to the fans. As Nikki Bella with a big chop across the chest. Riot now turns around into that elbow. And now Nikki Bella running Bulldog across the ring. Face first into the mat goes Riot. And now Nikki Bella sending Riot into the corner and there's a monkey flip monkey flip out of the corner nikki bella alternating between sasha and riot oh big backbreaker knee into the spine and now sasha once again rolls out of harm's way riot with the reversal on nikki and now it's nikki bella and ruby riot going at it once again who is gonna get the upper hand as Riot hooks the outside leg to win the title. No. Another near fall. Well, right now, Ruby Riot is in full control of Nikki Bella as she delivers those massive elbows to the skull. Nikki Bella has had some issues with her neck in the past. And look at Riot just focusing in on it right now. Cranking away at the neck of Nikki Bella. Now into the cover. But Sasha Banks 
breaks up that cover once again. Sasha doing whatever it takes to try and prevent her championship from changing hands. And now wait a second, the bank statement locked in. Bank statement locked in. Ruby Riot though is already in the ring and she tries to break up the submission and she does. And now Sasha Banks is going to go into the cover here, but Riot still in the ring. Sasha needs to take care of her before going for the victory, and that may do it. That may take Riot out of the equation. And now Sasha Banks going after Nikki Bella once again now. Ruby Riot, though, this time is on the outside of the ring recovering. And now Sasha has a hold of Nikki Bella. Snap their takedown. Oh, and there's a big knee into the spine. And now Sasha's dragging Nikki Bella. What is Sasha planning here? Setting up something. I'm not too sure what exactly, but... Oh, no. What is this? Sasha Banks. Oh, my goodness. Nikki may have a dislocated arm. That could be it, but Ruby Wyatt back in the ring at the right time. Sasha again into the cover, but Riot's going to keep on breaking it up. And now Riot, reverse DDT from behind. And now Riot's going to go after Nikki Bella again. Lining up the Riot kick, and there it is. The Riot kick on Nikki Bella. Hooking the outside leg. Is this it? Do we have a new champion? Oh my goodness, we do. Ruby Riot is the new Raw Women's Champion. Who saw that one coming? Let's take a look at that again first. It was the reverse DDT taking Sasha out of the equation. And then the Riot kick right to the skull there of Nikki Bella was the finishing blow. And Ruby Riot becomes the Raw Women's Champion. Wow! The reign of Sasha Banks has at last come to an end. What an incredible reign as champion for Sasha Banks. She cannot be happy though that Ruby Riot pinned Nikki to gain her championship. Sasha Banks has a mandatory rematch clause. The question is though, when will she use it? Congratulations to the new Raw Women's Champion, Ruby Riot. Welcome back everybody to the SummerSlam pay-per-view. And well, it's now time for Brock Lesnar's Open Challenge. Here comes the pain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, accompanied to the ring by Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, one of the most accomplished WWE wrestlers in history, makes his way out to the ring. And Brock Lesnar, is about to issue an open challenge to anybody in the back that wants a shot at him. Here tonight at the biggest event of the summer. Paul Heyman spoke about this on SmackDown Live a few weeks ago. And well, tonight it goes down in the squared circle. Brock Lesnar's in-ring debut to the new era of WWE happens right now. Who is going to accept his challenge? Whoa! The apex predator of WWE, Randy Orton. Introducing his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri. He is the apex predator, Randy Orton. Randy Orton has some serious guts because he is about to step into the ring with the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. 
Already here tonight, we have crowned new SmackDown Tag Team Champions in the Ascension. And moments ago, we saw Ruby Riot become the new Raw Women's Champion. It has been quite the night thus far, and it is only going to get better as the night progresses. Randy Orton set to come up against the beast, Brock Lesnar. This is going to be one hell of a showdown. So here we go. Brock Lesnar and Randy Orton one-on-one -on -one at SummerSlam. And we are underway. And Brock Lesnar starts things off with a big knee to the skull. Went for a right hand, but Randy Orton is not going to go down that easy. Randy Orton is going to fight the best he can here this evening. Randy Orton picks up Lesnar and launches him across the ring with that fall away slam. Not a bad start here for the Apex Predator as he goes off to the legs of Brock Lesnar. Trying to take out the vertical base of the former UFC heavyweight champion, but oh my! What a belly-to-belly -belly suplex that was. Launching Alden from the apron back inside the ring. But look at Randy Alden. Keeping up those reversals, but now Brock Lesnar. Oh my goodness. What strikes from Lesnar there. Oh, and now a double axe handle right to the back. As Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar's advocate, continues to look on. Randy Orton now with another kick into the gut, but Lesnar with a Russian leg sweep. Brock Lesnar turning the tide back around once again, and it is Lesnar who is back in control. And now Randy Orton's going to be set up here on the top rope. My goodness, that is going to win to you. Randy Orton is struggling to breathe right now. As he gets picked back up to his feet by Brock. And now Lesnar with a backbreaker. Oh, but hang on a minute. There's another one. Two massive backbreakers in a row. And Randy Orton is in a bad way. And now here comes Lesnar. No, Orton gets out of the way. And now Lesnar's tied up. Lesnar's tied up to the Tree of Woe. Randy Orton choking him there momentarily. Randy Orton doing whatever he can to gain control in this match. And now using the ropes to his advantage as well. Brock Lesnar is down. And now Randy Orton employing his slow methodical pace here in this match. Cranking away at the neck of Lesnar. Randy Orton trying to keep Lesnar at bay here. As now, uh oh, Lesnar called him. Exploder suplex. What an exploder there by Lesnar. And now, Randy Alden getting a big shot right there to the chest. Alden, though, with another kick to the gut. Lesnar with a fireman's carry takeover. And now, Randy Alden backed up into the corner. And now, here's Lesnar with snake eyes. Head first into a turnbuckle. But Randy Alden with another counter. Randy Alden. Now looking to up the ante here in this match. Setting up Lesnar on the top turnbuckle. What is Randy Orton thinking here? Oh my goodness! Lesnar went back first on the turnbuckle there. And now Randy Orton with a clothesline. And there's another one. Orton building ahead of steam. Power slam! Randy Orton's in full control right now. This would be a massive upset, in my opinion, if Randy Orton was to defeat Lesnar in his in-ring debut to the new era. But I'm not taking anything away from Orton as he delivers the elevated spike DDT. Oh, but Heyman, Heyman, messing around with the turnbuckle pad. And it distracted the referee momentarily. As now the RKO, no. Lesnar pushes him away. And now, oh no. Randy's up. Randy's up on the shoulders of Lesnar. Lesnar with the F5. And this could be it. F5 to Alden. 
The cover. Alden kicked out. Alden kicked out of the F5. That is unbelievable. Very few men can say that they've done that. And now Lesnar. Oh, there's a German suplex. Alden now is about to be taken to Suplex City. You heard the WWE fans chanting Suplex City earlier on. And oh my goodness. This is about to get brutal for Randy Alden. Oh, wait a minute. Randy Alden again reversing. And this time follows it up with a European uppercut. Alden now up on the second rope. Lesnar back up to his feet. Double axe handle missed. And now Lesnar off the shot to the back. Sending Alden off the ropes. Missed the clothesline. And now Alden looking for a DDT. But Lesnar fighting out. RKO chance now from the WWE fans. As there's another backbreaker from Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar has been in control of this matchup for the majority of it. And oh no, here comes another German suplex. And Lesnar with another one in a row. That's a total of three. And there's a fourth German suplex to Alden. Alden has been taken to Suplex City. Oh, wait a minute. Lesnar. Oh my goodness. Vicious strikes on Randy Alden. I'm surprised Alden isn't busted open from those. And now Lesnar's not done. Oh, but Randy able to reverse again. Lesnar was looking for a power bomb, I think, but Alden countered it with a back body drop. And now off the knee to the back. Randy's back in control. How long for though? Randy lining up. Lesnar for a knee to the skull. And now Lesnar may be in trouble as Randy Alden sets him up for another elevated spike DDT. That's the second one. Lesnar may be reeling here. Lesnar may be reeling. Heyman again distracting the referee. But now Randy lining up. Another knee right to the skull, and there it is. And now Alden wants the RKO. Couldn't connect it the first time. Will it connect this time? Yes, it will. RKO to Lesnar. This could be it. What an upset. But Heyman distracting the referee again. Come on. This is hardly fair. I mean, it's not fair to begin with because Lesnar's such a beast. But you add Heyman into the equation. This may be impossible. For Randy Orton to win. At least make it fair, Heyman. Come on. And now Lesnar rolls back up to his feet. Stare down. And now here comes Brock Lesnar. Sending Orton off the ropes now. Uh-oh. Oh, German suplex onto a chair. Heyman threw that chair into the ring at the right time where Lesnar needed it. And now Lesnar hoists Orton up. On his shoulders once again. There's the second. F5. Thanks to Paul Heyman. Brock Lesnar is victorious. Well that was hardly fair. I don't think the referee noticed a single pinfall attempt. From Randy Orton in that match. As we take a look back at this again. Watch the steel chair being brought into the ring by Heyman. German suplex onto it. The referee never saw that Orton's head hit that steel chair, which is completely against the rules. And then to top it off, there was the second F5 in this match. No way is Randy Orton kicking out of that. Well, you got to give the assist to Paul Heyman, despite the fact that I don't think Lesnar needed it at all. Brock Lesnar, regardless is victorious in his debut to the new era of WWE. We are back here at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. And here comes the general manager 
of SmackDown Live. It's Shane McMahon. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Greenwich, Connecticut, he is the general manager of SmackDown Live, Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon entering the ring right now as he is set for a Falls Count Anywhere match with the man that gravity forgot, Neville. This is all about payback for Shane O'Mac. And here comes his opponent. Introducing his opponent from Newcastle upon Tyne. He is the man that gravity forgot. Neville! And well, there he is. The man that gravity forgot with a newfound attitude since arriving to the new era of WWE. Neville has attacked various different superstars. And he's also attacked the general manager of SmackDown Live, Shane McMahon himself. He super kicked him in the skull and locked in the rings of Saturn. A devastating submission maneuver that caused Shane McMahon to recover in a hospital. And Shane McMahon stated this past Tuesday night on SmackDown Live that Neville forced him to not be able to do the thing that he loves to do, and that is run SmackDown Live as its general manager. And so there's the bell, falls count anywhere, rolls as Neville takes out the legs of Shane McMahon as soon as the bell rings. And Neville now with a massive right hand to the general manager. Shane McMahon, of course, has, has dealt his fair share of matches here in WWE's past. He is uh, considered a wrestler, despite being the current general manager of SmackDown Live, as Neville really focusing in on the arm of Shane O'Mac. And now Shane McMahon with the reversal sends Neville into the corner. And now here comes Shane McMahon, finally able to unload on Neville. After weeks of built-up frustration, Neville gets planted. And wait a minute. What the hell? Who the hell? Oh my gosh! Is that Pete Dunne from NXT? That is Pete Dunne! What is he doing here? Oh my goodness! He just struck Shane McMahon in the skull! Bitter end! The bitter end to Shane! What the hell did I just see? Neville into the cover, not like this! No way! Not like this! Oh, Shane's able to kick out! Oh my goodness! What the hell did Pete Dunne just do? Has Neville hired Pete Dunne or something? What the hell was that about? Well, that is going to seriously handicap Shane McMahon in this matchup tonight. And Neville knows it. Did you see the way he taunted the WWE fans there? I think Neville knows exactly what that was all about. As now Neville again focusing in on the arm of Shane McMahon and using the ropes to his advantage. Missed the Inzaguri though, and now Shane McMahon float over DDT. Remember this matchup, no disqualifications or countouts are in effect. That means anything goes here in this contest. Spinning back kick by Neville and there's a right hand. The lightning quick strikes from Neville there. Oh, and there's a stomp now to the chest. And now Neville heading outside the ring. And uh-oh, here comes the weaponry. Again, completely legal. No disqualifications is there. Shane McMahon just gets hit in the back with that steel chair. And now Shane trying to get out of harm's way, but... You're not safe there, Shane, either. Oh, my goodness. Power bomb to the outside. Right on the steel floor goes Shane McMahon. And now, oh, Shane sent into the barricade. 
Shane now though fighting back. Fighting back on the outside. Oh, there's a big neck breaker. And now an elbow drop to the chest of Neville. Shane McMahon trying his best to fight back despite the obvious handicap that he now faces thanks to Pete Dunne. And now Neville tossing Shane McMahon down to the rampway. And once again, Neville reunited with that steel chair. And look at Neville going off to the leg now of Shane. Oh, and Shane missed the elbow, but he managed to dodge the chair and he does again. And now the right hand disarms Neville. And now here's Shane with some big blows. Now the cover on the outside, remember... Fools count anywhere. Neville able to kick out. Fools can count anywhere. These two could end up backstage. And the referee will have to follow and count the pinfalls. Super kick. Another cover. The matchup could be over right here. No. Shane's able to kick out this time at two. Remember, Shane McMahon is already badly damaged. Thanks to Pete Dunne and his attack. Moments ago, big uppercut from Shane there. But look at Shane, he can't capitalise because of that bitter end that Pete Dunne hit earlier in the match. And now here comes the Shane O'Shuffle. Oh, Neville taken out. Big shots there from our general manager of SmackDown Live. And now into the triangle. The triangle choke locked in. But Neville... Neville, look at the power. Oh, my goodness. Shane went head first into the steel chair. Oh, and now Neville, no. Shane able to slap Neville away. And now looking for a power bomb, but Neville able to reverse. Slips off the back into a pinning predicament. Shoulders down. Neville, no. Almost had Shane right there. And oh no, Tiger suplex from behind. Another cover. Neville, no, Shane kicks out again. What a matchup this has been thus far. As now Shane McMahon sends Neville down the rampway. Into the cover now goes Shane, maybe out of desperation. Neville easily able to kick out. More damage needs to be made if Shane McMahon... Wants to get the victory here tonight. As now Shane just cranks away at the neck of the man that gravity forgot. Shane McMahon trying to slow this matchup down on the outside of the ring. The referee just watching on. There is nothing he can do in this match to stop these two from going at it. This is all about personal issues as there's the Olympic slam by Shane and now Shane is in control how long can he keep things going though as well Shane was setting up the Shane O shuffle again but this time Neville able to reverse it and now these two are at the top of the stage oh double foot stomp by Neville there to the face of Shane O'Mac and now Neville continuing the attack. Continuing this ruthless assault. Elbow right to the skull. And now Neville with another super kick. And that could be it. Shane McMahon may be done, but Neville is not done. Neville wants to punish Shane McMahon. Because in his mind, Shane has caused this. I mean, this all started because Neville didn't get his way. Neville wanted to be included in the King of the Ring tournament, if you remember. And Shane McMahon would not allow it. Shane wanted Neville to prove himself, but Neville, well, he just wanted everything fed to him. He wanted to be put in that King of the Ring tournament. And that is what started the issues between these two men. As now, oh my! Neville went head first into the LED board there. The dragon screw leg whip from Shane McMahon is now... Shane looks to be heading back inside the ring. Trying to keep things contested in the ring is Shane McMahon. Not a bad strategy after he's seriously handicapped already in this match. That of course was thanks to Pete Dunne 
who I still have no idea why he's here tonight. I've got a feeling, though, that Neville had something to do with that. And now both men back inside the ring. Neville with a forearm follows it up with another spinning back kick. And now Shane McMahon in the air. Brain Buster! Oh my goodness, that may be it. If Neville pins Shane right now, the matchup may be over. But Neville is not done. My goodness, these two are just relentless. The issues between these two are off the charts. Who would have thought that this all came about because Shane wouldn't put somebody in a tournament? But I mean, Neville clearly takes that very seriously. And now, oh, Neville! Went for a springboard moonsault, but Shane got out of the way. And now Shane McMahon looking for the Shane O Shuffle once again, and there it is. The Shane O Shuffle, is that enough to put away Neville? What a victory this would be for Shane, no! Kick out at two. What a victory this would be for Shane, though. If he were to somehow defeat Neville after everything that he's been through in this match. And look at this. The triangle choke once again locked in. Neville's in trouble. Can Neville somehow get out of this like he did before? Yes, he can. The power of Neville. Unbelievable strength. Oh, super kick for a third time. The super kick to Shane. And now Neville once again sends Shane down to the rampway. These two may be heading back up onto the stage. And now Shane McMahon with a massive elbow drop. Into the cover goes Shane. Is this going to be enough to put away Neville here? No, it's not. Another near fall for Shane McMahon. And once again, Shane trying to keep this match up nice and slow. You've got to wonder if Pete Dunne is still watching this because Pete Dunne wants Neville to win this match. And I bet he thought he had him when he connected that bitter end at the start, but Shane was able to kick out. Shane McMahon, though, seriously damaged. He's regrouping, trying to catch his breath. Meanwhile, Neville tries to get back up to his feet. And now here's Shane back into this matchup now after taking that brief regroup. And old Neville capitalizes with a clothesline. And that may be the downfall of Shane McMahon. He caught his breath, but as a result, Neville now is back in control. Shane now with some elbows, trying to fight out of the grasp, and he does. Shane now running bulldog to Neville on the stage. And that may be it. Hooked to the outside leg. Shane McMahon for the victory. No, Neville is still in this thing. What is it going to take to put one of these men down? As oh, wait a minute. Pete Dunn's back. Pete Dunn is back. Close line to Shane McMahon out of nowhere. And oh, there's the full run once again. Pete Dunn setting it up. A second bitter end to the general manager of SmackDown Live. Neville scurrying into the cover. Not like this. Come on. Neville got it. Neville has defeated Shane McMahon. I do not believe this. Take a look at this again. Pete Dunne came out of nowhere. Struck Shane McMahon in the back with that clothesline. And then off that devastating forearm would set up the second bitter end onto the general manager of SmackDown Live. Neville would rush into the cover and the referee was forced to count the pinfall. Shane McMahon was completely out of it. And so Neville gets the victory here tonight at SummerSlam. An unfortunate scene here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Pete Don, Neville is victorious. The following contest is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Welcome back everybody to the SummerSlam pay-per-view. As here comes the Irish last kickoff. 
Becky Lynch making her way out to the ring as she is set to come up against Emma for the second time in the new era for the SmackDown Women's title. The last time these two women encountered one another, it was a month ago at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view where Emma was victorious, but after the match, the iconic duo, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, would assault Lynch in an uncalled for manner. That assault was completely unnecessary, but I have no doubt in my mind that those orders to attack Becky Lynch came from this woman, the current SmackDown Women's Champion, Emma. The now leader of the iconic trio. Emma has joined forces with Billy Kay and Peyton Royce to form this faction. And just in case Billy Kay and Peyton Royce get involved in this match, as I have no doubt that they will, Becky Lynch has brought some backup. You may have seen them accompanying Lynch to the ring here this evening. They are Naomi and Ember Moon. And we saw Naomi and Moon come to the aid of Becky Lynch this past Tuesday night on SmackDown Live. That was after Peyton Royce got a very impressive victory over the Irish last kickoff. Tonight, though, is all about the SmackDown Women's title. Emma defending her championship here against Becky Lynch for the second time in the new era. Will Becky Lynch become the champion tonight? Introducing the participants. First introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. Introducing her opponent from Melbourne, Australia. She is the current SmackDown Women's Champion, Emma. Emma has held that championship since the Backlash pay-per-view a month after WrestleMania. Will her reign as champion come to an end here tonight? Becky Lynch has failed once at capturing that championship. Can she avenge that loss from the Money in the Bank pay-per-view here this evening at the biggest event of the summer? Emma versus Becky Lynch. And here we go. We are underway. And these two women will begin the match by looking up in the center of the ring. Emma applying the headlock. And Lynch is going to try and escape as quickly as she can. And she does. Sending Emma off the ropes and now into an arm drag. Not a bad start for Becky Lynch there as now. Emma catches Lynch with a jawbreaker. Went for that single leg drop kick but missed out on it. And now it's Lynch with a scoop slam. Comes off the ropes. And there's a leg drop. Becky Lynch is rolling as the matchup begins. Naomi Ember Moon here for Becky Lynch in her corner. While Billy Kay and Peyton Royce are in Emma's. As now another scoop slam plus another leg drop. The Irish last kicker is in full control. But as I say that, Emma hits that uppercut. And now face first into the mat goes Lynch. Stomp to the back. And now wait a second, Emma. Circling her challenger here tonight. As now she goes up to the second rope. Decides against jumping. Emma needs to play it smart here tonight. And I'm not too sure this is smart. She's going to head up high. Top rope now. And Emma misses the splash. Bad decision there by the champion. And that could cost her severely. As now Becky with the elbow to the back. Another elbow strike. And now a forearm. Went for a spinning back kick, but Emma caught the leg. And now just launching Becky Lynch across the ring by her hair. And just like that, Emma is back in control. As now Lynch gets sent off the ropes. And there's that single leg drop kick. 
that Emma went for earlier. And look at Emma just taunting the WWE fans here in Brooklyn. Becky Lynch, though, able to capitalize. Sends Emma into the corner, does Lynch. And now here's Becky Lynch with a springboard sidekick. Emma outside the ring now. And look at Becky Lynch keeping her eyes on the iconic duo, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Becky may need eyes in the back of her head during this encounter tonight. Because Billy Kay and Peyton Royce are ever so devious. As now Emma with some elbows to the midsection on Lynch. Escaping the grasp that Lynch had her in. And now it's Emma with a gut buster on a challenger. Knee driven right into the gut of Becky. And now the champion with a jawbreaker. Jawbreaker by the champion. And now here's the first cover of this matchup. And it's only a one count. Becky Lynch is ever so resilient. But tonight may be the ultimate test for Becky Lynch as there's an uppercut of her own. And now, the Bexploder suplex. The Bexploder. But Billy Kay trying to distract the referee and she does. The referee distracted by Billy Kay. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is why Lynch needs eyes in the back of her head. And now look at this. Billy Kay's distracting Lynch now. And Emma creeping up behind Lynch, taking advantage, sending Lynch to the apron. And now Becky Lynch does not want to be there. Emma setting up a neck breaker off the ropes. Devastating neck breaker by Emma. And now to retain her championship into the cover, but Lynch gets her foot on the bottom rope to break up the pinfall attempt. Great ring presence there by Becky. Instead of wasting energy to kick out, she instead gets her foot on the bottom rope. Great move there by Becky Lynch. And now Emma up to the second rope, measuring Lynch. Oh, what a missile drop kick. That will do some damage. And now Emma in control as she turns Becky Lynch over. And oh, look at this. Going off to the legs now. Weakening down the legs for her devastating submission maneuver, the Emma Lock. And now up on the shoulders goes Becky. Emma comes over to the ropes and hangs Becky Lynch out to dry. Lynch is going to find it real hard to breathe right now after going neck first into that top rope. And now Emma with a stomp into the midsection. Emma's really doing some damage right now as she just trash talks her challenger. And now Becky picked back up to a vertical base. Emma gonna send Lynch into the corner. And that splash may be coming. Becky Lynch needs to be careful. And she does. She caught that leg. And now the elbow strike. And the forearm once again. Trying to set up the back exploder, but Emma with an E. Oh, and there's a vicious bell clap. And now maybe looking for a power bomb, but Becky Lynch turns it into a pinning predicament. The shoulders are down here. Do we have a new champion in Becky Lynch? New champion, no. Kick out at two by Emma. And now Becky turning Emma around. There's a back suplex. Emma lands right onto her neck. And if Becky can keep up this momentum, we may have another new champion here at the biggest event of the summer. Emma back up to a vertical base thanks to Becky Lynch. Sent across the ring now goes Emma. And here comes the Irish last kicker with the flying firearm. Forearm into the corner on Emma. And the champion is reeling as Becky Lynch sets her up for a second Bexploder. The second Bexploder in this match. Becky Lynch may have a new champion. No, another two count. Another close call there for the Irish last kicker. Becky Lynch now maybe looking for the disarmer. Emma may be in trouble right now. She's being set up. 
And the Disarma gets locked in. Disarma locked in. Becky Lynch to make Emma submit. What a victory this would be if Emma taps. We have a new champion, a new SmackDown Women's Champion. But Emma's hanging in there. And Emma somehow escapes. Emma able to escape the Disarma. And now looking to set up Becky Lynch. Wait a minute. That modified Michinoku driver. This is what pinned Lynch at money in the back. But Lynch is able to kick out this time. Becky Lynch is able to kick out. The resilience coming into play. Big European uppercut. And now Becky Lynch trying to get the WWE fans behind her. And that is no problem here tonight in Brooklyn. They are firmly behind Lynch as she delivers that leg lariat. And now Emma reeling once again. Emma really is in trouble. As now Becky Lynch once again with another big exploder. Third time may be a charm. But instead of going for the cover, Lynch wants to disarm her once again. That arm has been badly damaged. And here comes the second disarmor. We have surely got a new champion. Becky Lynch to become SmackDown Women's Champion here at SummerSlam. But Emma somehow staying in this match without submitting. And she once again escapes. The resilience from Emma now is on full display. Clothesline into the cover, maybe out of desperation to retain the title. No, Lynch is still in this match. Becky Lynch certainly with the fight and heart of a champion as Emma gets her back up to her feet. Takes her down to the mat again with a snap there. Takedown, follows it up with a knee to the spine. And oh, Emma's going to head up to the top rope again. This backfired before. Will it connect this time? Yes, it will. Emma with a massive splash off the top rope. Lynch picked back up to her feet. Lynch though with the reversal. And now Emma's once again in the corner. And now Becky Lynch up to the second rope. Tornado DDT. And that may be it. That may be the finishing blow. Tornado DDT for the victory. New champion, no. Another near fall for the Irish last kicker. Becky Lynch is coming so close. As now Lynch comes off the ropes. Here come the leg drops once again. Lynch doubles down. Two massive leg drops on Emma. And now Emma... Pick back up to her feet. Big forearm from the champion. And now a right hand. Lynch fighting out with some elbows. And now from behind, crucifix cover. Shoulders down once again on the champion. But Emma stays alive. And now Emma back up to her feet on her own accord. Grabs a hold of Becky Lynch. But Lynch is able to escape. And now Emma, once again, picked back up to her feet. Becky Lynch, trying to set up the Bexploder again, but there's another knee. And now Emma, from behind, neck breaker. Another neck breaker by the SmackDown Women's Champion. And now Emma, oh no, Lynch lands on her feet. Big forearm, but Becky Lynch is badly hurt. But look at the heart. Of Becky Lynch still fighting despite what she's been through. And now, backbreaker to Emma. Becky Lynch may be closing in on the SmackDown women's title. Emma trying to get back up to her feet and she does. Beck Spoiler again, but this time Emma rolls through inside cradle to retain. Oh, she got her! Emma retains her championship. Wow! That was out of nowhere. Let's take a look at that again. Becky Lynch was looking for another Bexploder suplex. Emma though with an inside cradle. Shoulders were down. And the three count is all that's required. Emma is still 
the SmackDown Women's Champion. But that may have just been luck. That honestly may have just been luck. I'm not trying to take anything away from that victory, but... I mean, Becky Lynch was closing in on winning the title. If it wasn't for that inside cradle, Emma may not be champion right now. Nevertheless, Emma retains her championship tonight at SummerSlam. The following contest is for the Raw World Heavyweight Championship. Welcome back everybody to SummerSlam live on pay-per-view as it is now time for Raw's main event of the evening. And there is the monster among men and the King of the Ring winner. That is Braun Strowman making his way out to the ring. And Strowman comes up against the current Raw World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H, here tonight at the biggest event of the summer. And I believe, alongside many others, that this may be Triple H's toughest task to date in the new era of WWE. I mean, look at the size of Braun Strowman. That is a lot of power behind that man, or should I say, behind that monster. Strowman in the ring as he awaits the arrival of the current champion. And here he comes. Here comes the game. But tonight, I can assure you, this will not be a game for Triple H. This is going to be difficult for Triple H to overcome. Very rare do we see Triple H coming into a match as the underdog. But tonight, I firmly believe that Triple H is the underdog tonight. Braun Strowman may have this one in the bag. How the hell is Triple H going to overcome this monster? We are going to find out in just mere moments. Triple H has held that championship for about a month after he won it at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view against Seth Rollins, the inaugural Raw World Heavyweight Champion in the new era. But it was thanks to Samoa Joe's assist that Triple H won the title in the first place. Triple H went so low, he got so desperate, he wanted that title so much that he got Samoa Joe to step in and cost Rollins the championship. Tonight it will be a different story. I think the only way that Triple H will be able to walk out with the title tonight is if he gets himself intentionally disqualified. Because as you know, you cannot win a championship by disqualification or countout here in WWE. You can only win by pinfall or submission. That is called the champion's advantage. Introducing the participants. First, the challenger, Braun Strowman. And introducing his opponent, from Greenwich, Connecticut, he is the current Raw World Heavyweight Champion. He is the game, Triple H. Well, Triple H reluctantly holding that championship up high. This may be the final time, for a while at least, that we see Triple H with that championship. The championship that he was so desperate to win at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. 
The championship being held up high by the referee as this matchup is about to be underway. Strowman versus Triple H. And here we go. And Triple H right out of the gate. Trying to unload on Strowman. But Strowman spine buster. My goodness. An explosive start to this matchup tonight. And Triple H is already reeling. Triple H already in trouble as he gets plodded back first onto the map there. Oh, and now Strowman with a massive drop kick. Showing off his agility there is Strowman. Strowman deceptively quick and agile. As now Triple H on one knee right now as, oh, head first into Strowman's knee. And now, uh oh, here's the power of Strowman. Picking up Triple H by the skull and slamming him into the mat. And now Strowman dragging Triple H across the ring and now stepping over him. Braun Strowman has this one in the bag, I think. I don't think Triple H can do much here tonight to avoid Strowman from capturing the title. Oh, but he sends Strowman now to the outside. That could be a start for the game here. Now, normally I would say that heading to the outside of the ring is a advantage for Triple H, but I don't know with Strowman involved if it is. Head first off the announce table multiple times. There goes Strowman and Triple H really utilizing his surroundings. As now both men head back inside the ring. Triple H not going to weasel his way out by winning by count out here. If Triple H wins or loses even by count out, then he still keeps the championship. As now, oh, Strowman with a big body block. Taking out the game once again. And just like that, Strowman is back in control. He drives his knuckles into the skull of the champion. And now once again plants the game back first into the mat. And now Strowman... With a claw reply to the shoulder of Triple H. Is Triple H going to submit here? No, instead he'll take out the leg of the monster. Not a bad move there by the game as now Triple H with another backbreaker. Moments ago he delivered a backbreaker, neckbreaker combination. And now Strowman off the backbreaker gets sent into the corner. And there's a big clothesline. Strowman is down once again and now... Triple H going in with some elbow drops to the chest. Triple H trying to do whatever he can to damage Strowman in this matchup. As there's a jawbreaker now by the game. And oh my, Triple H just told Strowman to suck it. I don't think that's going to help you, Hunter. Uh-oh, Strowman caught Triple H. And now a one-arm spine buster. My goodness, what power. Strowman now launching the game across the ring by one leg. That is unbelievable power. And now Strowman ticked off that Triple H told him to suck it. Locks in the elevated triangle choke. And Triple H is going to try and escape this as soon as he can. And he manages to. Oh, what a clothesline. Massive clothesline by the game. And now this may be Triple H's moment of reprove. Big right hand. And another one. Strowman though right back up to his feet. Triple H now. There's the knee. The patented knee by the game. And now Triple H may be thinking spine buster of his own. The patented double A spine buster. But Strowman with a DDT. What the hell was that? Cover by Strowman to win the title. No. Triple H kicks out at two. That was, that was something that I've never seen from Strowman before. He turned that Spinebuster attempt into a DDT. Usually you'd see that from Cruiserweights. That was impressive. And now Strowman, uh-oh, has Triple H up. Maybe for the running power slam. Yes, it is. Running power slam to the game. The cover. Strowman's the champion. Just like that, Strowman is champion. Wow, that was 
That was quicker than I expected. Watch this again as Strowman, after that impressive show of agility, connects the running power slam on Triple H. And that was all she wrote. Braun Strowman is the new Raw World Heavyweight Champion. Another title change here at SummerSlam. Congratulations to the monster among men. The following contest is for the SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship. Well, only one matchup to go here tonight at SummerSlam. Welcome back, everybody, to the biggest event of the summer. And there is the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. The man who won a fatal four-way match this past Tuesday night on SmackDown Live to get into contention for Finn Balor's SmackDown World Heavyweight title. Styles was able to defeat Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton to advance here this evening to face Finn Balor for the SmackDown World Heavyweight title. And I have stated on multiple occasions that the history between Styles and Balor is very interesting to say the least. Styles became the leader of the Bullet Club, a famous wrestling faction over in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Balor was the previous leader before Styles took his place when Balor decided to leave that promotion and come to NXT. WWE's developmental program in Orlando, Florida. A very interesting history between these two men as Styles awaits the arrival of the champion. And of course, when you face Finn Balor on pay-per-view or on a special occasion, you need to prepare yourself for the Demon King. AJ Styles better be ready for this one. This is going to be, no pun intended, but it is going to be phenomenal. The Demon King is in the building. And there he is, the SmackDown World Heavyweight Champion. He has held that title since WrestleMania when he became the inaugural SmackDown World Champion in the new era. Will tonight be the night that Finn Balor loses that championship? We will find out in just mere moments. I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait for this. And by the sounds of it, neither can Brooklyn. Listen to that ovation for Finn Balor as he makes his way down to the ring. An unbelievable reception. Here tonight for the SmackDown World Heavyweight Champion. This is the final match of the evening. And what a way to end the night. We have already seen so much. We have got new champions in Ruby Riot, The Ascension, and of course, Braun Strowman. Will AJ Styles be added to that list here this evening. Finn Balor versus AJ Styles is about to become a reality in the new era. 
The SmackDown World Heavyweight title hangs in the balance in our final match of the night. Introducing the participants first. From Gainesville, Georgia, he is the phenomenal AJ Styles. And introducing his opponent from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. He is the current SmackDown World Heavyweight Champion, Finn Balor. So here we go, Finn Balor versus AJ Styles, one on one at the biggest event of the summer. And that is what is on the line, the SmackDown World Heavyweight title. Will AJ Styles become the second SmackDown World Champion of the new era? Let's find out as the matchup begins. And AJ Styles pushing Balor into the corner to begin this match. Will we get a clean break here? I would expect so. As there is tremendous respect between these two men. As I said, these two have a, a very interesting history with one another. As Balor now takes Styles down to the mat. Styles though right back up. Now the waist lock applied. And now it's Styles taking down Balor to the mat. AJ Styles in control of the matchup right now as he delivers a big right hand to the champion. And now sets up Balor for a snap suplex. Beautifully executed as well, might I add. You would expect nothing less from the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Is now off that forearm. He sends Balor off the ropes. Missed the drop kick. Oh, and Styles now with a clothesline. Balor could not capitalize on that missed drop kick and Styles remaining in control of this championship encounter. Styles cranking away at the neck of the champion there and now sets Balor up for a power bomb, but Balor's able to counter with a sit out face buster. And now off that kick to the spine, Balor gets Styles back up to his feet. And now Balor sending him into the corner. AJ though with the forearm. Stopping Balor dead in his tracks. And now... Oh, there's the suplex into that neck breaker. I love that move every time I see it. But now Balor off that kick to the skull. Styles with a fireman's carry takeover. And it has been back and forth thus far between these two great athletes. Fireman's carry takeover now by Balor. And now Styles off the ropes. Balor was looking for something. Styles able to reverse. And now from behind, torture rack position for Balor into a power bomb. What a maneuver there by Styles. As AJ heads up to the second rope, Balor rolls to the outside to create separation. And now AJ Styles is going to follow him out there. And the battle continues. Balor landing on his feet as Styles went for something. Balor sends Styles back inside the ring now. Balor now on the apron. The champion measuring his competition. Springboard drop kick. Taking out Styles. And here's the first cover now of this match to retain. No. Styles kicks out at one. And you can expect a very competitive match between these two here tonight. And now Finn Balor. Suplex maybe. No. Brain Buster. The Brain Buster there by Balor. And that is going to do some damage. AJ struggling to get back up to his feet after that devastating brain buster. Balor now helping Styles back up to his feet. And now, oh, Balor with the detonation kick. Detonation kick there to Styles. And now Balor went for a right hand. Styles with a forearm. Days is Balor. And oh, there's the Pele kick. Pele kick there by Styles. And now Styles repositioning Balor. Going after his leg now. 
maybe to set up the calf crusher later on in the match. But right now, Styles looking for the phenomenal forearm and all. Balor got out of the way. Balor knew it was coming. And now Balor, O'Connor roll, shoulders down to retain the title. No, Styles kicks out at one once again. And now Finn Balor, double underhook suplex with a bridge. Shoulders down again. And once again, a one count. I told you this was going to be competitive. And I guarantee you've not seen it yet. Balor swinging neck breaker. As Styles comes off the ropes, now the elbow drop. And now Balor's up to the second rope. AJ Styles getting back up to his feet. Balor with a big missile drop kick. And now Balor into the cover again. And another kick out. And now, oh, Balor missed that drop kick that time. And AJ with a massive clothesline. AJ now back in control. Springboard moonsault. Wow, he changed direction in midair. Here's the cover now by Styles. And a kick out at one by Balor. Unbelievable match thus far. And now wait a second. Styles reverse 1916. That's Balor's move. That is a move that Finn Balor does. And now Styles with the calf crusher locked in. Calf crusher on Balor. Is Balor going to submit here? Do we have a new champion? No, Balor survives. Finn Balor able to escape the calf crusher. And now AJ sent off the ropes once again. Big drop kick. WWE fans chanting Finn Balor's name as now AJ gets a shot to the back. Styles set up against the ropes now. And the champion sending Styles to the outside of the ring. Tope con Hilo by Balor. This is fast paced. This is the definition of fast paced. As Styles gets sent into the barricade and then back inside the ring. And now Finn Balor taunting away to the fans as Styles gets back up to his feet. And now Balor, no Styles with the elbow. And now Balor's stunned. Styles setting him up. Power bomb! Power bomb to Balor. And now AJ thinking phenomenal forearm, but this time Balor gets out of the ring. These two know each other so well. Balor avoiding disaster there. As now he grabs a hold of AJ. Elbow into the back of Styles. And now the right hand and the elbow strike. Back Styles up into the corner. Turnbuckle to turnbuckle. Shotgun drop kick by Balor. And that sets Styles up perfectly. Coup de gras time. Balor's looking to put AJ Styles away. Here comes. The coup de gras, and there it is. Balor to retain his championship. Shoulders are down. AJ kicks out at two. What a close call that was for the champion. AJ Styles was almost put away right there. But Styles showing off his resilience. And now here comes Balor picking up the pace. Oh, Styles called him. Nice slam. AJ Styles knew exactly what Balor had in mind there. Now the cover off the slam to win the title. No. Kick out at two once again. And now Balor picked back up to his feet. Balor pushes Styles away. But look at Balor. He's in bad shape. Balor though with a knee to the gut. There's an insecurity to follow. Balor is severely hurting though. And now Finn Balor looking to slow the match down. Dragon Sleeper locked in on Styles. Is Styles going to submit here? Balor to retain. No Styles is able to escape. And now AJ has Balor up on his shoulders. Oh, nice move. Fireman's carry into a sidewalk slam. And now another Pele kick to Balor. That's the second one. And now, Balor being repositioned. Center of the ring, Springboard Moonsault. To win the championship right here. Cover. 
Bala kicked out at two. This is getting close. And now Styles heading to the apron. Phenomenal forearm may be coming. Can it connect this time? Styles, phenomenal forearm, no. Bala again, saw it coming. And now from behind, Bala hooks Styles up. Oh, reverse exploder. And now Bala may be thinking coup de gras once again. He's already hit it once. Here comes a second one. Bala hits it. Coup de gras for a second time in this match. Hooking the outside leg to retain his title. Styles kicks out again. Styles kicks out of a second coup de gras. And now Styles with a jawbreaker. Dazing Balor. Now the arm drag. Dumps Balor into the corner. And now Styles has Balor up on his shoulders again. What is Styles thinking? Oh, Balor lands on his feet. Styles missing. Pele kick from Balor. Pele kick from Balor. And now Styles may be dazed. Another elbow strike from Balor. And now the champion. Setting up Styles on the apron. Springboard drop kick. Sends Styles to the outside. And now the count begins. AJ has up until a 10 count to get back inside the ring. Otherwise, Balor will win this match. The referee trying to hold the champion back. But Finn Balor pushing himself to his limit. Corkscrew cross body over the top rope. And now Styles back inside the ring. Bala follows. And now Finn Bala, right hand. And now setting up Styles. Reverse 1916. And that sets up Styles. Finn Bala thinking coup de gras for a third time. This may be the charm. Coup de gras. No, Styles gets out of the way this time. And now Styles with a big kick. And a Pele kick as well. And AJ Styles throwing up the two sweet hand gesture. A symbol of their past together in New Japan. And now AJ. Pendulum backbreaker. And now maybe thinking Styles clash to put Finn Balor away. This may do the trick, but Finn Balor turns it into a pinning predicament. Shoulders down now, here on Styles to retain the title. Oh my, he got him. Finn Balor retains his title. Wow. What a matchup. Let's take a look at that again though. Styles was thinking Styles clash to put Finn Balor away. Finn Balor turning it into a pinning predicament here. The shoulders were down for the three and Finn Balor walks out with his championship intact. Well, it could have been more decisive. You could call that luck, but Finn Balor is still the SmackDown World Heavyweight Champion.